translation. It is the mechanism in which codons of mRNA are translated and specific amino acids in a sequence form a polypeptide on ribosomes. Process of translation requires amino acid, mRNA, tRNA, ribosomes, ATP, magnesium ions, enzymes and release factors. Amino acids forms raw material for protein synthesis. About 20 different types of amino acids are known to form proteins. These amino acids are available in the cytoplasm. DNA controls synthesis of proteins having amino acids in specific sequence. This control is possible through transcription of mRNA. RNAs serve as intermediate molecules between DNA and proteins. Ribosomes serves as site for protein synthesis. Each ribosome consists of large and small subunits. These subunits occur separately in cytoplasm. Only during protein synthesis, these two subunits get associated together due to magnesium ions. Ribosome has one binding site for mRNA and three binding sites for tRNA. They are T sites, that is peptidyl tRNA site, A site, that is amino acyl tRNA site, and E site, that is exit site. Only first tRNA amino acid complex directly enters P site of ribosome. In eukaryotes, a groove is present between two subunits of ribosome. It protects the polypeptide chain from the action of cellular enzymes and also protects mRNA from the action of nucleases. Mechanism of translation that is synthesis of polypeptide chain. It involves three steps. Initiation elongation and termination. Initiation of polypeptide change. Activation of amino acid is essential before translation initiates small subunit of ribosome binds, attaches to the mRNA at phi dash end. Initiate a codon AUG is present on mRNA which initiates the process of protein synthesis that is translation. Initiator tRNA binds with initiation codon AUG by its anticodon UAC through hydrogen bonds. It carries activated amino acid methionine in eukaryote or formal methionine in prokaryotes. Now, the large subunit of ribosomes joins with the smaller subunit that requires magnesium ions. Initiator charge tRNA with activated amino acid methionine occupies the P site of ribosome and A site is vacant. Elongation of polypeptide change. During this process, Activated amino acids are added one by one to first amino acid methionine. Amino acid is activated by utilizing energy from ATP molecule. This amino acid binds with amino acid binding site of tRNA. This results in formation of tRNA amino acid complex. Addition of amino acid occurs in three step cycle. Codon recognition. Amino acyl tRNA molecule enters the ribosome at A site. Anticodon binds with the codon by hydrogen bond. 
amino acid on the first initiator tRNA at P site and amino acid on tRNA at A site join by peptide bond. Here enzyme ribosome acts as a catalyst. At this time first tRNA at P site is kicked off. Translocation. The tRNA at A site carrying a dipeptide at A site moves to the P site. This process is called translocation. In translocation, both the subunits of ribosome move along in relation to tRNA and mRNA. Hence, tRNA carrying dipeptide now gets positioned at P site of ribosome making A site vacant. At this site then next charged tRNA molecule carrying amino acid will be received. During this process first uncharged tRNA is discharged from E site. This process is repeated as amino acids are added to polypeptide. It takes less than 0.1 second for formation of peptide bond. Third charge tRNA with its amino acid arrive at A site of ribosome. Anticodon and codon binds by hydrogen bond. Polypeptide bond is formed Second tRNA is discharged from P site to E site and leaves the ribosome. So the events like arrival of tRNA amino acid complex, formation of peptide bond, ribosomal translocation and removal of previous tRNA are repeated. As ribosome moves over the mRNA, all the codons on mRNA are exposed one by one for translation. Termination and release of polypeptide. At the end of mRNA, there is a stop codon UAA, UAG or UGA. It is exposed at the A site. It is not read and joined by anticodon of any tRNA. The release factor binds to the stop codon thereby terminating the translation process. The polypeptide is now released in the cytoplasm. Two subunits of ribosome dissociates and last tRNA is set free in the cytoplasm. mRNA also has some additional sequences that are not translated and are referred as untranslated region UTR. The UTRs are present at both 5' dash end before start codon and 3' dash end after stop codon. They are required for efficient translation process. Finally, mRNA is also released in the cytoplasm. It gets denatured by nucleases immediately. Hence, mRNA is short-lived.